What is better, highest frames or lowest frames? Hello, hello, back again. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy. One of the major issues for comfort of playability is the spring height. Currently, it is pretty diffused among musicians that they believe that if the neck angle is stronger, that the instrument sounds louder. My experience is actually exactly the opposite. A certain angle has to be obtained. This is now the spring angle. Then we have here bridge. It should be 90 degrees. And here we have our finger board. Okay, now. When I talk about string haze, we talk about the distance of the string to the fingerboard at the end of the fingerboard. So we measure in this position here. We put the ruler just in here and we measure the distance from the fingerboard to the underside of the spring. These measurements uh, depend on the strings, on your ability to play, on your personal taste, on your climate you're living, uh, how much the neck is moving back and forth. If you're ready to test and check out one of my violins we offer and we make in my workshop, go on my webpage violincellomaker.com and you will see all the range of instruments from Scala Perfetta, Linea Maki and all the master instruments and you will see that everything is perfect just as you were dreaming of. A general good measurement for violin for instance is 4 on the E screen and 5.56 millimeters in the G screen. For the viola I will say it's about the 4.55 millimeters on the A screen and that up to 7, 8 millimeters. Cello goes from a minimum to a 4, 5 millimeters on the A screen to 8, 10 millimeters. And on the double bass we have like 7 on the high screen and um, up to 12 millimeters, okay? It's a very personal adjustment. Just know that if the string angle here is very strong, the bridge is kept more in a position than compared to if it is, let's say, flat. And then when the string is here vibrating, it's not only vibrating up and down, it's also moving back and forth. So then here, this bridge is more free to vibrate up and down back and forwards in all directions. And that's the main reason that if the spring is a little bit lower, the instrument is a little bit more freer. If you enjoyed this video and you are ready to jump even further into these details about the string height, I would recommend you to check out on Edgar's online violin making academy. You just can only pick out the subjects you like and you can buy them singularly. When I made the violin mating school, they just sat down, then cut the bridge, and then they turned around and went away. In my violin mating academy, there are 20 videos each. 20 minutes, which explains how to cut and fit the proper and idle braid for your violin. I hope you enjoyed this video and you even felt the moment of the time to squeeze that button to subscribe to this nice channel. Subscribe, thank you and tell your friends. Ciao, ciao. Hope to see you soon in Cremona. Bye-bye.